Hey, welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel chapter 30 today, verses 21 to 25. David uh, got back his family here and, and the spoil because the Amalekites had raided him. Let's see what happens next, starting in verse 21. Now David came to the 200 men who had been so weary that they could not follow David, whom they also had made to stay at the brook Besor. So they went out to meet David and to meet the people who were with him. And when David came near the people, he greeted them. Then all the wicked and worthless men of those who went with David answered and said, Because they did not go with us, we will not give them any of the spoil that we have recovered, except for every man's wife and children, that they may lead them away and depart. But David said, My brethren, you shall not do so with what the Lord has given us, who has preserved us and delivered into our hand the troop that came against us. For who will heed you in this matter? But as his part is who goes down to the battle, so shall his part be who stays by the supplies, they shall share alike. So it was, from that day forward, he made it a statute and an ordinance for Israel to this day. So remember, there were 600 guys. 200 of them were too tired to continue. Remember, they're driving hard to catch up with the Amalekites. 200 stay back with the supplies. 400 go. Among the 400 are some of the rowdy guys, most rowdy guys. They go, they take everything back, and they come back. And now they get back and they say, ah, uh -uh, these guys don't get any. And David says, no, absolutely not. We're all in this together. And so everybody, even the people that guarded the spoil, they, they were part of the whole operation. They get a share in the spoil too. So David kind of lays down the rule here. Even though he's got some pretty rowdy guys with him, David says, no, we're not going to do it that way. We're going we're gonna to do it the fair way. And so that's just a piece of David's leadership there. It was probably a pretty rough moment there. Everybody's excited. They've, they're, they're, they've got blood all over their swords, you know, they've, they've just done a serious battle, and yet, uh, and they want to just keep the spoil. But David says, nope, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to, we're all in this as a together. And today the churches are kind of split up. Every church kind of does its own thing. And, you know, maybe we feel a little bit like, uh, it's, we're, you know, each man to himself. But what we should do is seek to be God's agents. And so much as possible, we should be united with a uh, fellow uh, br brethren and sisters with our sister churches and seek to do the work of God together. Uh, some might be in a more aggressive area. Some are out in the front lines, uh, maybe in a far distant place. Some are in the front line in a city right next door. God will work for all of us if we'll just work together and work for him. May God bless us in that way. God be with you today.